I'm all like this, eh? <laughs> true, true, they say wonder shall never end. <laughs> I want to be president for you. Is it for Ewa? Is it for Kasaba? You don't be president now. They say you're not a magician. As I declare you now, so. Now, yeah, we did. Yes, people say they do Thanksgiving service for auto independence. We do. For the before it happened, I be gay. Now, yeah, uh, uh, my local wife, boss, they tell us, say, uh, make Nigerians know the two pressure our husband do. Say, our husband not be magician, no. Say, me, they give our husband time, or say, our husband go walk, oh. Say, uh, their husband, like this, so, say, inherits many, many baggages from previous government. I beg, the previous government, not be APC. Say, I beg, I was gonna, in fact, no worry, make a job read the food. Just now, yeah, we take this woman talk. Listen and be blessed. He said, the first lady, Remy Tunubu, says, President Bola Tunubu's government is focused on fixing the country's problems, but admitted that his husband, that her husband is not a magician. With many struggling with a tripling of fuel prices, a sharp narrow devaluation, and inflation now at 25%. The Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC, and the Trade Union Congress, TUC, two major unions representing industries from aviation workers and nurses to teachers and bankers, had called an indefinite strike for October 3rd because they say the government failed to address their concerns. But speaking in an interdenominational church service to mark Nigeria's 63rd independence, Remy Tinubu said her husband's government inherited the lot. However, the Tinubu administration is willing to fix the issues affecting Nigeria, she maintained. We are not here to put blame on any administration, but to fix what has been damaged. She said at the event held in at the National Christian Center, Abuja, on Sunday. My husband is not a magician. He is going to walk brick by brick. And I believe and hope that he will have faith in his administration. The best is yet to come for us, the First Lady added. Her comment came as after President Tinubu's nationwide broadcast as the, as the country marked its 63rd Independence Day. In the broadcast, Tinubu said the federal minimum wage for lower grade public employees would increase by 25,000 naira a month for the next uh, six months. Later Sunday, government officials and labor unions met for negotiations and the government said the temporary wage increase would now apply to all treasury paid levels government workers for six months according to a presidency statement the temporary wage hike was among other offers it said nlc and tuc will consider the offers by the federal government with a view to suspending the planned strike to allow for further uh, consultations and statements said the statement said rather nlc chief Joe Ajiro told reporters the union would take government offers to its members, to its membership for consultation. Now, why? Before I enter, now they promise. Okay, they don't see allow now enter office now, and I see the promise. Now, why you promise powers for this country? You always have to walk brick by brick, brick by brick. The brick by brick, what they see since May 29th comes. So, the brick won't buy us for this country. That brick, we always do brick by brick. So, so far, the brick will not see so far now. So, it won't press people die. For this country, I beg. Which what did they read the soap? Ah, APC go come office. APC go they blame APC. Say play APC put APC for problem. Okay, we want to solve APC problem, but because APC now the battle since they don't want enter power. We don't enter office now, so we they blame each other. My husband is not a magician, but when they campaign, he not no say not be magician that time. It not be president or be president for now. They must talk about them. There's nothing you can do about it. They must talk about. If you know they do well, they go talk about. It. If you still do well, they go still talk out. But for right, but for now, the country not get not get where they go. The country not not you know they go front. So they must talk about your husband, man. That ain't to say he won't be ready for you. I beg you, you know, just thank God for everything.